All right, so. What I was trying not to do, but she's still on her, on her wheels. And now let's bring her back over and see what kind of run we had here. And if the run is still at looking at 39, if the run is still looking at 39, so let's go stop and read 41 miles an hour. So, so this is my awesome little GSS performance analyzer for RC. You can see it scratched up. I've already been using it. I'm actually 3D printing a nice little case for it right now to pr help protect it because I want it to last a long time. It does have a USB-C connection on this side and I've placed Velcro on the bottom of it here, but you can use Velcro or how, whatever mounting option that you would like to use in order to be able to mount it to your RC cars, to your planes, to whatever it is that you want to use this guy for. It does give you a ton and I I do mean a ton of information back depending on what it is that you're using it for but right now i'm doing a speed challenge with a friend of mine to see how, how fast we can get one of our rc cars to go and this is really helping out so it comes with this nice little pamphlet as well to show you how to use this guy and of course uh, you'll need to download the app in order to be able to access it and then you have your usb-c usb to usb-c uh, charging cable and that's basically all that comes in the box the one thing i will tell you about this guy is it is always looking for a bluetooth signal so with that after you charge it up in a standby mode it will slowly uh, uh, use up battery power on it so you're going to want to make sure that you do charge it up regularly it is really a really nice nice little device and I think it works phenomenally well and and, and so far I've, I've just enjoyed using it and here we have the actual app installed on my mobile device and if I click here and click allow it's going to you it's going to find my device which is here and then choose it and now it is actually connected and you'll see that the lights are on so it is always looking for a battery signal on this guy. Right now I'm at 83% and I basically charged it about two days ago and I haven't used it since. So I gotta give you an idea uh, about how much you'll need to charge this guy. And of course you can tell it drag, track, or flying. How are you going to use it? And I was actually a little confused because I was trying to do my speed runs in drag and you actually want to use track for your speed runs. And then flying, I'm actually going to put this guy on a couple of my aircraft and fly it around to see what kind of information I can get back. Thank you so much for coming by and checking this out with me. I think this is truly a great device and it's really going to help me to be able to get the kind of information I want to from my little RC cars and, and trucks and be able to tell exactly what kind of speed I'm getting on them and even verify if what they say from the factory is accurate as far as what speed you can get from an RC vehicle. So thanks again for stopping by and checking this guy out with me. I really appreciate it. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.